All right, here comes the video. One simple thing with these vehicles, 2006 through 2010 Infiniti M's. So sometimes the front charger does not work. Only the rear one works. So we end up, end up using this one here as your main charger. But thing is, nothing major is wrong with this. And we're about to start the car. Huh, interesting mod, I've not even seen that. I'll push the brake, you push the... Is your audio off? Yeah, it's okay, cool. So, your charger's not working. It's usually a pretty simple problem. Go down here, and I'm gonna get this. Use drawing. I'm going for the cigarette lighter, the front one here. So, oh, well, it's actually this way, okay. It's right beside the fuse puller, right? If I can see it. So this cigarette lighter, this 15 amp right here, they say something's off with it. I've got spares on the side, spares over there. You see there's a 15 amp spare right here, all right? So I'm going to get that 15 spare. And this is a full size spare. A lot of us do this. You use one, then you end up with a full size at some point. So what I'm gonna do, check it, it looks good. Uh, you mind turning off the car? Thank you. I'll go ahead and install this here. Nice. In it goes, it's right there. Yes, it does stick out a little more than the others, but it works, it fits. So now, we're gonna turn the car on again, get the button. It's charging, right? <laughs> That's it. It's just a matter of a fuse. And see what's odd is that this fuse isn't really blown. I don't know what it is about that cigarette lighter fuse. And that's why you saw in the FX50, that's why I have one of these fuses sitting on the side. Oh, okay. I, I was just messing with it. Uh, when I'd met, you know, met the ladies some time back, mm -hmm. I switched it up in their car, did that, you know, for the M45 that they got. Okay. So you could keep this as a, as a spare if you want to, but in my mind, it fail, it functionally failed, or maybe there's something really sensitive about that circuit mm -hmm. that it cannot work. Okay. So make sure, this is one thing I usually say, whenever you remove a, a fuse, make sure you replace something. So we used up the 15 amp spare, yeah. might as well, uh, yeah, might as well go ahead and get the, get a replacement for it. Even if it's a full, it's a regular sized fuse, we're gonna do that. So yeah, hope that solved your problem. Just... <laughs> it looks like it did. <laughs> So I'd like to offer a continuation or rather a conclusion of sorts to the first part of the video whereby I was dealing with a cigarette lighter issue. And in that part, you got to witness in real time that I solved the problem by replacing one of these mini fuses that comes from the factory with a regular fuse. And my brother was able to regain utility of his charging port and he was able to charge his phone or plug whatever else you want in there, I suppose, as long as it doesn't exceed the 15 amp draw of the system. So it might surprise some of you to hear that this problem is not just relegated to his Infinity M45. In fact, with as many Infinity M's as I've owned over the years, I can tell you about 99% of them had some oddity going on with that system. Either the front lighter, cigar lighter, as they say, was not working, so I had to go in and replace a fuse, or it was working, and out of curiosity, I'm always curious, I just look inside and notice that a lot of them, in this part right here, someone had already gone in and replaced with one of these fuses, and that makes sense, because this one is kind of unusual, unless you're in that kind of industry. It's easier to buy one of these from any auto parts store or Walmart and just kind of move on with life, and it works. So I'd say going by the my just with the number of vehicles I've dealt with, I'd say replacing this with this one is a sure way to get it working. So that's consistent. What's not consistent is how failure happens. And let's do this. So you saw in the first part of the video that I checked to see that the fuse was good by just holding it up against the light. And when you see the element looking complete, then that is a working fuse. If you see an element, let me see, is this the one? Yep, this one was not working, but you can see the element is broken, right? So yeah, for sure, that's not going to work. And when you look at this one here, 
the element looks whole. So looks good, right? This one here. Oh, looks good as well. So professional electricians are probably squirming right now because they know that that is not a perfect test by any means. And that is correct. Um, this test could result in some false positives or false negatives. Um, because this one here, this is a sure thing, right? If it's broken, there's no circuitry. It's not, it's a broken circuit. It's not happening. However, this one here is also non-functional and that's why it's outside. That's why it's here. I, I know for sure that it's not working, but it looks okay. So professionals will tell you that there are better ways, get tools and measure the resistance if you're trying to do that with a fuse. And uh, is it resistance only? Is this something else, guys? I don't know. I make no false pretenses about knowing all about electrical stuff. All I can tell you is that if in doubt, throw it out. Just buy a new one and keep it moving. But if you're really curious, I guess you could test it. As I said, these are cheap and readily available. So if you're watching this as an electrician and you have an answer as to why some of these fuses fail functionally, but visually they still look good, please educate us. And I'm saying that because not only the cigarette lighter is usually an odd one, and it's this is not like the only fuse I've seen like that. Um, cigarette lighter is one of those. And then for the Infinity M35s and M45s as well, the intelligent key, I've seen that happen a few times, whereby your car stops responding to the key fob, either being near the door or getting inside the car. You have to insert it into the port to get it to work. And I remember um, having a few people say, you know, directing a few people to replace the fuse. Then they look at the fuse and say, it looks good. But then I would say, how about this? If, you, if you're not ready to replace it yet, how about you go ahead and just switch it with something else and see what the other system does. If that fuse is put in a different location and stops, and that new location stops working, then you've got a fuse problem. And then, you know, no surprise, most times that's what they end up finding out. So just throw it out and use, you know, put in a new one and everything is good as new. So again, if you're an electrical professional and you can explain why certain systems um, either one, normally just pop fuses out of the blue. This is not very common. This is more, I'd say, 99% of the M's that I've dealt with have had an issue. This one is not very common. With It's never happened to me, but I've seen it happen to people. So if you've got an answer as to why some systems do it, pop fuses more often, and number two, why they actually don't pop their fuses, if fuses just stop working, I'd appreciate, you know, being educated in that matter. But for the rest of us, all I can tell you is that how about this? You've got slots for spares. So make sure that your car always has a spare. 15 amp, spare, spare. You do have some empty pockets here too. As long as you won't get confused, you can go ahead and stash some in there. If you feel like you are replacing your <laughs> your fuses as often as your oil, well, you've got some kind of a problem. But otherwise, for the rest of us, grab some of these and just put them in and you should be fine for a pretty long time. Okay. All right. I hope this video helps you.